Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, let's throw up the field for race number seven at Kentucky Downs on Saturday. It's the grade three uh, ladies turf, three quarters of a million dollars. We're going a mile. There's a 50 cent pick five. This race kicks it off. 14% takeout on the 50 cent pick five at Kentucky Downs on Saturday. Princess Grace comes off a triple digit buyer's score for the Mike Stidham barn at Del Mar. She's only lost once, and that was in a really good effort in the Valley View. Yeah, I mean, she's she's the horse to beat in here. Her her form is, is very good overall. Um, and she comes off of a really nice win last time. I mean, all in all, she got a really good trip, but she only got that trip because she was able to hold her position when it counted. Um, and then once she came clear, she was there. Very adaptable from a pace standpoint as well. Time Form US believes the pace will be fast. I tend to agree. And uh, Princess Grace likely will be coming from mid-pack or further behind. Shifty She, the six, has shown speed. She was up front in Saratoga last time out. Not sure about Princess Causeway and Sarah C as true leaders. I know that they can be close. The key to this race from a pace standpoint is what does Delica do? She's shown huge speed going longer distances. Now she cuts back. Al Stahl tells me you can't fight her. Just have to let her do what she wants. Uh, yeah, we'll see if, you know, getting cut back a, a little bit in distance here, uh, back to a mile, um, lets this field maybe get away from her a little bit early so she can settle because um, if the paces are slow, it feels like they have a tough time controlling her. Sarah C, the number one, can be close to the pace, but she's two for 30 lifetime. And she's going to be stepping into the stakes ranks for only the third time in her career. She was beaten four lengths in the prep race, the preview at Ellis Park, and she didn't have a great trip that day. Yeah, she didn't. Um, you know, I don't know if I necessarily would agree with the uh, checked hard comment. Um, she certainly studied a little bit there. I don't think it necessarily cost her the race. What cost her the race probably is that she was you know, well at the back of that field in a race where the one, two finishers dominated on the lead and nobody else had any chance. Um, she didn't run poorly last time. If you go back to that mile turf race, the first time she was on turf in April, she ran pretty well there, Dan. She got control of that pace, but the horse that ran her down is nice. Princess Grace, the number two, has won five of six, three in a row, including this race, the grade two yellow ribbon. She got a great trip and set up fast pace. She was able to split horses, find a great seam, and made a decisive move. But once she found the seam, look how quickly she bursts clear of the other horses. That was the winning move. She has push-button acceleration. She earned a 102 buyer. Yeah, liked the way she finished it off. Again, liked the way that around the turn there, right before we picked up the replay, she was in some traffic and just had to hold her position until it opened up for her. And once it opened up for her, she was there and she really finished well in there. She's the horse to beat. I am a huge fan of Abscond. I think she's been knocking on the door. She already is a grade one stakes winner. She won the Natalm up in Canada as a two-year-old. Almost got it done last time out for me in the Nassau. Let's watch that race. One turn mile at Woodbine. Jolie Olympica just had control of this. Turning into the stretch, he got up close to a moderate pace. The class master from Southern California takes the lead. Abscon's going to try really hard from the back of the pack, and her rally's just going to fall a little short. Yeah, she runs well in here. You can tell that she's never going to catch this horse on the lead, but she ran well in here. They raided her again, um, sat off the pace, got her to the outside, and she puts in a really nice run here. Um, boy, you've been following this horse for a long time. Um, I... The more I looked at this race, Dan, the more I kind of hope you stuck with her. I feel like she's a big player in this race. Quirelli, the number four. Third last time out, an optional claimer going a mile on the turf. She's run well sprinting. She's run well going long. Another horse that's adaptable to the pace standpoint. She goes out for high percentage Southern California-based trainer Peter Miller. Yeah, we'll see what she does. I don't know. I didn't really know what to make of her, Dan. Her races are fine. It feels like when you start taking her form apart, that she might be better sprinting than she is routing. I, I don't know. Um, she's going to be a price in there, so I'm not going to knock her, but I couldn't talk myself into her. Want a hot horse? How about the five? She's on the war pass. She is on the war pass. She's won her last two, including the preview race for this on August the 8th. Let's watch that race right now. She's on the war path, takes advantage of a really fast pace up front, but she comes with an extremely solid kick to get up to win with an 89 buyer speed figure. Now, maybe she has to run a little bit faster if she's going to win this race, but she ran very well in this race last year over soft going. I thought she went for home very early in that race and it might've cost her. She ran second to a big closer in English affair. Yeah, that's true. Um, she's probably underrated. I, I would say I would put it that way. And, you know, she took advantage of a really fast pace last time, but she doesn't need that trip. She can sit closer if she has to. So I think you have to like those things about her. Um, you know, listen, she's beaten Domingo in her last two starts. Domingo would be a pretty big price in this race. So she's clearly stepping up in class. 
50. She has won five of eight. She still has some upside potential. She gave it a good try last time out at Saratoga yeah. in the De La Rose. Safi Joseph was ice cold at the time. Shifty She tried to spurt clear. Got a very nice ride from Arad. Uh, tried to put the race away at the right point. But Hendy Woods is a solid horse. Is eventually going to run her down. And then you're going to see Regal Glory, a really nice horse, run her down. She might have run the fourth best race because Viadera, who was fourth, had some trouble in upper stretch. I think that's probably true. Um, this is just a really um, strong field that she faced, even though it's a restricted stakes race. Um, there are a couple horses in there, uh, uh, in particular the two Chad Brown horses who were grade one types. So that was a tough spot. Um, she had a good trip on a relatively soft pace, but they were flying through the stretch. Princess Causeway might be a horse for course at a price. And I do think that is a big angle at Kentucky Downs. She won her first two starts over this service and she caught very yielding ground in this race last year, a race that preceded a lengthy layoff. She's had two starts now. I think she's improved with each and every start. We saw her just get run down by She's on the Warpath when finishing third in that race at Ellis Park. She might be coming up to her best in the third start of the cycle. Yeah, she might be. Um, she was really close to that fast pace last time. So this is a horse I think you might want to take a second look at, it, especially um, because, as you mentioned, she are, she's a horse who's already proven that she can run her race here, and that's not always the case. Another one is Summer in Saratoga, the number eight, another 12 to one shot. Another horse that is won at Kentucky Downs, winning last fall. And she got back to the winner's circle last time out at Indiana Grand. I like the way she finished that race off, Mike. I thought it was a very strong rally. I'm just not sure of the horses she's beaten. It hasn't come back very strong that race just yet. Well, it wasn't a, a very strong field, that's for sure. Um, I like the way that she won it um, with just another big finish. This Philly, when she gets herself into the clear with time, um, she finishes very strongly without fail. Every one of her races, even when she won here last year, Dan, pretty big deficit she had in the stretch there. And she came home very strongly to erase all of it and just get up uh, in time. She obviously has that running style where she needs um, a little bit of pace and she needs a clean run. But if she gets it, she fires every time. Drop in class, drop in distance for the nine Delica, who was in against Warlike Goddess, probably the best longer distance turf female in the country right now. And listen, Delica tried to win it the way she, the only way she could. Opened up a big lead on the back stretch, tried to hold on. She tired pretty badly in that race. Her prior race. Uh, going long at Delaware, I thought was a really good effort because she was involved in a solid pace from the start uh, with a horse that ended up finishing last, put that one away and then held off the closer. She's obviously good enough to win this race. Do you think she's better going longer, though? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that's that could be the real question here. I realize that she's run you know, very well in her last four starts going longer distances, but in a lot of ways, I don't mind them cutting her back to a shorter trip here. I think that could actually work for her. And I, I agree with you. She has races that will definitely give her a big chance in here. And I think that's the right point uh, because she's won at five and a half. She's won at a mile and three eighths. Uh, she, it's all about whether she relaxes in the early portion of this race, especially if the pace is quick. Let's take a look at our top picks in here. Princess Grace is the horse to beat based on her current form. We yes. both have her in there. You're going with Summer in Saratoga, a horse that I also want to use. I, I liked her last race. I'm a little concerned that she didn't beat much, but just visually, I was very impressed yeah. by it. Yeah, me too. I mean, it is a big class test for her. And I won't deny that. Uh, but she's going to be a big price in here. And I just feel like she's the kind of Philly. She's going to show up. Um, and we'll see if she's good enough. At the right price, I will try her. I'm not way against the favorite, however, Dan. Um, I really do think Princess Grace is way the horse to beat. I will have to use Abscon because she's my girl, but I'm going to try to give the owners a break by not picking her this time around, which might propel her into the winner's circle. Shifty, she ran okay. It was a tough race that you mentioned last time out, uh, that race with Vedera. Uh, I'm curious to see what kind of trip she can get. I, I don't think she's need the lead type. I don't think she's fast enough to get the lead, even though Time Form US believes she can. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how she does over this Kentucky Downs course. But again, the price should be right because Princess Grace figures to take money. Fun race. 8239 for Mike, 6283 for me. It's the Kentucky Downs. Ladies Turf, race number seven at the Downs on Saturday. Good luck.